before we begin the podcast, I was thinking that uh, basically, uh, and getting deep into things, that's what we're all about here on the Deep Dive podcast at Bell Vista Studios. <laughs> um, I feel like we need a, like a little intro. So, and because it's called the Deep Dive, we should be like, Deep Dive. Like, can you go deeper? <laughs> can I feel like- oh. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it for actually doing that? the show. Yes, we are already rolling. <laughs> <laughs> what are we uh, to do okay. <laughs> My goal is well, achieved the making you a fool. No, I joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a joker. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we talking about? All right, well. Hello everyone, welcome to our Deep Dive podcast. <laughs> Kim and I are feeling really, really pumped today. We've got a lot of energy yes. and we're really excited to be talking to you about something that we're quite passionate about and that we've been really getting into recently. Uh, so we've really noticed lately the importance of making sure that we're keeping up to date with what's happening out there, that we're continuing to learn from the internet as well as other people out there on social media other people in the industry and we've just really noticed the impact that it's having on the work that we're doing um, how inspired we are and the knowledge that we have so we thought we'd talk to you about um, just some of the things that we do to keep ourselves learning and um, yeah we're really excited to be talking about it yep over to you Kim <laughs> well, I feel like today is a big day oh well actually because it's not today the excitement happened my time in Brisbane um but it was obviously night time so you woke up but I think one of the key things is mentors because we well Hannah got to meet one of her virtual mentors today and I feel like that is so exciting um and just the impact that that mentor has had on our lives which is Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, for those of you that are aware of him, he's freaking awesome. Um, very yeah. inspirational business person. And I feel like we've learned a lot from him and trying to implement things that he says. But I know that, you know, that power of mentors is really key. And you were super excited. And then I got super excited through the journey as well, meeting. <laughs> you want to share the impact of mentors on you? Yeah. So, I feel like mentors have been huge for me. Like even thinking back to when I first got into the workforce and meeting you. So I was just working and it was just like, yeah, like you go to work and you do what you need to do. But when Kim started in a position, like a job that I was also in, like just the energy that she had and just, it's like she almost put a different filter on life when she started. And I think that just, it like changed my whole world. Like it made me realize what's possible out there, how much you can achieve when you put a hundred percent in. Um, and I think that really got me started on my, um, I guess like career. Yeah. So yeah, like meeting you Kim was amazing. Like just what you taught me and what you made me realize just really kick started the possibilities that are out there. So I think it's really important for people to have those mentors so they can be like, Oh, like I can do this and that. And, I can find what I'm passionate about and um, yeah, you can go to work every day and it doesn't feel like work. You, you're actually getting up every morning and you're doing what you love and you're not living for the weekends. You're living for every day and what's possible from every day. So yeah. Yeah. I think Kim, like you were like, you still are obviously like a massive mentor to me, but yeah, about Gary as well. Like we're so inspired by Gary, like watching his videos all of the time and listening to him while we're working and just that impact and learning from people who are so experienced was just amazing. And seeing him last night, like <laughs> I was just like, Oh my gosh, like you're actually a real person. And <laughs> just the learnings I got from him face to face was just absolutely amazing. So I think having a mentor in life is huge. Yeah. Um, and if you can mentor other people, so if you've got people in your life that you know you can give advice to, like do it because it can have such a big impact on people and what they can offer to the world. Yeah, I think that's really interesting that you say that. Like, obviously, coming into that role and working with you was awesome for me. I know we just clicked and it was really exciting to have someone with a positive attitude and energy. And naturally, that's why we've ended up working together at Bell Vista Studios. Um, I knew when I was working with you that you were going to be the first employee. So that's <laughs> really exciting. But you had a big impact on me. And I think 
that thing about mentoring others was really, really useful um, because it held me accountable. Like I was trying to guide you. Obviously, we we're like many years younger, <laughs> um, but I was trying to guide you through like your first career job. And it was one of my, it was only my second career job as well. So I was new to it, but really every Tuesday, I think it was, wasn't it? When we had the catch up. Yeah, Tuesday yeah, morning. I still remember it. <laughs> it was the yeah. highlight of the week um, for me, definitely. And, you know, just those chats and what came up in those chats really helped me think about, oh, this is important to mm -hmm. me as well. Or, trying to role model behaviors as well so that you could walk away and see what it looked like in action. But I feel like definitely being a mentor, mentors are fantastic. And I had a fantastic mentor in Jamie when I worked at our previous job and he was so yeah, good awesome to me, exposing me to <laughs> like audio books, Ted talks, um, yeah. going on training, doing higher duties, all those kinds of things, allowing to be a shadow of him um, stepping yeah. up and doing some of his role really exposed me to, you know, the learning and development kind of, uh, I don't know, environment and, and working with executives and presenting to meet me managers and, you know, running toolbox talks for hundreds of people. Like that's something that I wouldn't expect I would ever do. And he did give yeah. that um, opportunity and that was amazing for me. And I felt like I've, yeah, I think just giving that's amazing because you build awareness and I definitely didn't have awareness in that area myself. So it was good for someone to show me the way, but then to actually embed those habits was when I became a mentor to you and a few of the other team members where I was having to be accountable and something actually today came up. I had a phone call many, a few months ago, someone said I need an instructional designer just to bounce ideas around. And this chick, but I sent her like all the kind of blogs, tips, people we follow, things that we think are really good, um, such as like Alan's interactions, the CAF model, um, a couple of YouTube videos on how to like work with clients and stakeholders, and Kathy Moore's yeah. action mapping. She's starting out no instructional design. She's, a, I think she's either a surgeon or she's practicing to be a surgeon. And today she was ringing about, oh, wow. like she got in touch and was like, okay, I need help. And it was really interesting to kind of mentor her through those initial steps in the instructional design process. And that really early stage of kind of the project, because yeah. I was checking my own process and is this current and does this work and yeah. how can I... Yeah, it was really interesting because I was able to self-reflect afterwards and I feel like it just shows how far I've come myself as an instructional designer. Um, and then yeah. just like also like her energy, she was so curious. It was really exciting to be able to share that and have her email mm -hmm. afterwards and say, oh, can you explain what the persona activity means? I want to run that with my stakeholders, you know, from human centered design. I'm like, yes like wow. that vision has been shared and she wants to yeah. create, she was talking about how medical training is really dry she's just come from a period of um like doing her exams waiting for results and she's like it's trained yeah. so badly and it's like people don't spend the time up front because it's a lot of effort to do effective training and she's like i've just been through bad training i'd really like to put out a product that is yeah. going to actually inspire, make a difference, help people change their behavior or be better in yeah. as a result in the task or situation afterwards. Yeah. So yeah, it, that's yeah, really that's cool. Awesome. Exciting. Um yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that actually <clears throat> it makes me think of a conversation, like what you were saying then, a, a conversation I had with someone I met last night. So his name was yeah. Jamie and he was awesome. He was at the um Gary meetup. And he was talking about like he like went obviously studied and went to university or whatever and he liked it but just some of the like the content was like outdated and I think it's so important to be, have someone there to talk about what's like current in the industry and just to receive that like one-on-one -on -one support from someone yeah and like have access to like yeah i don't know how to explain it but just like not just having outdated content but like always having new content always hearing from other people in the industry who know or like are actually doing what you're learning about and i think that can make such a big impact 
So I yeah. think the impact you'd be having on her would be really, really good. Like hearing from you and how you're using it on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think that can have a yeah, big impact. Yeah. And things are changing so much at the moment. Like, I think it's something like 90% of innovations have happened in the last three years, like innovations of all time. Like that's yeah. crazy. So like people that have been in the L and D space or whatever it is, when they talk about 10 years and 20 years or 25 years in business or, you know, in that, that practice, I think it's fantastic. It's such a great achievement that you're passionate to continue in it. But yeah. We need to remain current because times are changing and we're not the dictators yeah. of what people want. The market is telling us what we need exactly. and the market is yeah. our learners or our audience. So we need to be keeping up to shape. So like, what yeah. are some of the things you do to develop personally? Um, yeah, well, I guess like since working for Bell Vista, like I've had so many opportunities to be keeping up to date and, um, I guess like just looking up things on the internet, like it's amazing the things that you can find. Um, so when we're writing blogs, like I do a blog every week, so yeah. I will research on the internet. I'll use, um, things that we're doing within the work. So if there's a certain task that we do, or we have a project, I'm like, Oh wow. Like I wonder, like, I'm sure there's so many different awesome ways you could do this and just taking the time to really see what's out there, see what other people are doing. Um, really understand your user. So like we've been talking about human centered design a lot recently and yeah. understanding them and using a process that will really align to what they need and will make you create a solution that will really work for them. Yeah. So yeah, I guess just doing research on the internet, speaking to people on social media, it's amazing the people that you can yeah. meet in the industry on social media and what you can learn from them. Yeah. Um, even just like organizing calls of people in the industry and chatting about topics that you're passionate about. Uh, we had a call with um, someone called Spencer. Hey, Spencer. Hey. <laughs> Shout out to Spencer. Um, he was absolutely awesome. So we've sort of been a connection on social media for a little while and he seemed quite similar in our thinking and he was doing some really cool things. So um, we had a call with him and I know you as well were so pumped after that conversation yeah. because we got to share what we were learning and what we knew and where we were heading into the future. Yeah. And it was just so motivating to connect with people like that. It was. And that's a really key thing I find like, cause quite often we meet L and D fellow practitioners that are like, um, you know, you go to a conference and it's great and you're really energized. And afterwards it's like next year until the next conference happens. And there's a real craving for events yeah. to happen throughout the year. And I know that we meet fellow L and D practitioners who are kind of craving that connection on an ongoing basis. And mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I think that's what was really cool with Spencer was that we were able to find someone that was like-minded. We got really energized in like our first ever time talking to him and just, yeah. I, I came away personally going, my mind was like, yes, anything is possible. Yeah. Do whatever. It like expands. <laughs> it's amazing. And I know yeah. like that. So we are now one of the things which we're running, um, is the meetups and so we've never done that before. Yeah. and like this is a big yeah. challenge for us to those of you that are listening like the reason we wanted to hold the meetups is that we couldn't find um the right type of networking event for ourselves in out where we are so brisbane and london and so we really wanted to um we basically had to create the space um that wasn't somewhere where it's like passing out your business cards and talking about yourself it's about learning from other fellow practitioners in the l d space whether that's from vr whether it's e-learning whether it's like face-to-face -face facilitators and um, people that are coaching executives so that we can learn across yeah. the industry and find out what's going on and what things because we have common things that we're struggling with but we can also get new ideas yeah and fresh perspectives from people that yeah. really share. So I know that like we just had the first meetup this week in Brisbane and your one's next week on Monday. But for me, like that is such a, a great space to be able to step up for me because I need to work on my facilitation skills. I need to learn about things that are actually of interest to our audience and our community out there in the L and D space so that I can step up and actually add value to their lives 
and therefore be like yeah inspired and helping myself grow as well and we we've yeah. done yeah. weekly chats to get that ready we've like yeah. presented the workshops to each other virtually and to the team yeah. um and i know like that that was a big challenge for me but on the night afterwards when you know i could talk to the like-minded l d people and we were really getting into like how design because it was on design thinking how design thinking yeah. can change our like um our solutions how personas can make us look at problems completely differently how that yeah. more, how white how might we question does the same thing and it was really yeah. energizing to meet with them get that feedback because all of them were older all of them were more experienced than i am in l d space yeah. and to get that feedback from them that they got really good that it added value and they could see how it could change the solutions have an impact yeah. on the learner, have an impact on the organization. And like the feedback was awesome. So now I feel really energized and I know that I'm talking yeah. and more like animated about it. But that's the impact that we have. And by us yeah. creating those kinds of um, opportunities for ourselves to kind of yeah. step up and develop and then getting that feedback then makes us want to go do it again, want us to learn a new yeah. thing, want us to put something out there into the world and check ourselves on it so yeah that that's yeah. really cool that is cool what about yeah. like have you or is something going for you now that you want to share on yeah that? i was just thinking like it makes me think like as learning and development professionals we're so focused on getting other people to learn and creating the best environment yeah. for them to learn and making sure like that's our job to learn how can they learn the best way how can we motivate them but often we can forget about ourselves and i think it's so yeah. important that we give ourselves opportunity to keep learning because if we keep learning and we're in, like, if we're feeling inspired and um, we're keeping up to date with things, then we're more able to do that for other people because we're in the right mindset. So I think, yeah, yeah it's just made me think how important it is for your own life, just life as a whole to feel inspired and um, mm -hmm. keep learning, but also for our jobs as learning and development professionals to really be able to, look after ourselves first before we can offer it to other people so yeah yeah it just made me think of that when you're talking like how important it is and often we can forget about it so and i think, think just making sure you, you make the time and you challenge yourself yes, and that's it meet, that's have it. other people in the industry who can you can speak to and brainstorm with and yeah super important for me anyway no i agree um what what about the co-working because you so we've been trying to host a co-working here in brisbane just so we can meet yeah. like-minded people in the industry um because we're a virtual team so it's not like we're working in an office bouncing ideas all the time and another way to meet other yeah. industry peers but like you've been going to an, a really established one in the um in london how's yeah. that going yeah, so I've been um, going, it's called L&D Co-Work and it's absolutely awesome. So Fiona McBride runs it yeah. and I heard about it and I thought, oh, it's just perfect because, yeah, like you said, like we're working remotely from completely different countries and um, I know I get a lot of energy from other people and hearing about what they're doing and brainstorming with other people and all of that. So they, like the days that I've done co-work, you probably realise like I've had so much energy after exactly. the day. Like I've been like, I learned this, I learned that, I met this yeah. person. Um, so yeah, like if you are, even if you do, I feel like my advice would be even if you do work in an office with people around you, it's so important to get out there and meet other people because everyone has yeah. such different perspectives and depending on what company you work for, you can really it could be completely different from how people at another company think. So yeah. going to those events, even if you have like a problem, you might have a project or something where you're like, Oh, I just can't figure it out. Or I wonder if there's a better way yeah. of doing it. You can take that to co-working and just sort of put it out there and see what people come up with. And you could be like amazed with what people could come yeah. up with for you. And yeah, just make, meeting people and there'll be certain people where you're like, Oh, like we have a really good connection where, we've got similar mindsets and we're working on similar things and you can organize to meet up for coffee or like work together to yeah. collaborate. And yeah, I would a hundred percent recommend co-working yeah. events. They're absolutely yeah. awesome. The people that you meet, the things you learn, the projects that you can get inspiration from, from other people is just awesome. I think, yeah, what's coming up for me now and I'd say people listening are going, yeah, we know all this stuff. Um, but a lot of people don't do it. And I think, 
What's key is that you need to make it a priority in your life. So just like your coffee or waking up when your alarm goes off or hitting snooze 12 times and then you get up, whatever those <laughs> priorities are, for you, your own development and self-love, especially in like your career is really important to prioritize down to the point where you are scheduling time in. So a really good example that I'm super proud of Hannah on is we... I wanted Hannah to be able to develop her skills in instructional design to the next level where she could work on really advanced um, training programs for us. And <clears throat> Hannah was allocated time in her week to read a book. And the, the book was Map It by Kathy Moore. And that allocated time, like I, Hannah had never done a task of this kind before. <laughs> And yeah. she read the book and then basically the task was handed over, do this. It was a client task, um, having to do apply instructional design to their existing content um, yeah. and basically shaping what that looked like. And just after what you did and having that prioritized time to learn and then go and apply it, like you just took it to the next level. That was a, an exceptional like standard of work. And the client has been so stoked with that. So I, suppose you've had feedback obviously from me which is really good and that's another thing feedback is so important so whether yeah. you're seeking it or getting it but you had feedback from me obviously telling you that you've done such a good job on that and we went through it in specifics as why this was good why this was effective yeah. why this might need to improve you know because there was things that needed to be tweaked so we got really specific so that you could understand what worked and what didn't um yeah and, ha and you were talking me through your learning process. I read this in the book. This is what I was thinking here. This is how I've applied it. And that was really good. And then the other feedback that comes through is, you know, we present it to the client and they're stoked. Like they've been, yeah. every email when they send something back about the project is them being really, really excited. Yeah. I feel like if the client is like, like they don't have to yeah. say thank you and they don't have to go on about why it's so great. So um, I think the key thing there is that we do know that we have to step up and we have to keep current and do all these things, whether it's blogs, whether it's making videos, whether it's hosting networking events, whether it's even just going to networking events, um, mm. talking to your manager about, you know, higher duties um, and really pushing for those opportunities because you need to drive them. And especially if you're not communicating them to people, how do they know what your desires are? And times yeah. are changing so quickly now. Every day things are changing. So yeah. there's lots to learn. And I think yeah. the main thing is, is that you need to prioritize that. So whether it's at 10 o'clock every morning when yeah. you get that coffee break, that you read two pages from a book or you watch a three yeah. minute video that you mm -hmm. can be inspired by because there's so much information out there. And especially yeah. from different industries, like I know that we look at Sweden, Norway, like those Scandinavian countries for graphic yeah. design because they're so cool at what they do in the design world. Yeah. And I know like being in Australia here, that learning and development space, the inspiration's coming from you now, Hannah, meeting other peers in the industry that oh, are yeah, like awesome. really teaching you and then bringing it back. And you're telling me and I'm like, oh my God, like I haven't heard about yeah. London so advanced, yeah. you know, so prioritize it like you will yeah. thank us now nah, you'll thank yourself <laughs> for doing it because yeah it just, you, you can see how energized we're getting about this and i think that's because yeah. we are so passionate and we've realized the benefits for ourselves so i definitely yeah. recommend that yeah yeah 100 percent. like what you said it's just like putting it in your diary and sticking to it and Last night, Gary, like he did a question and answer, like Q and A session. Yeah. And he was talking about that. And he's like, if you're going to make something a priority and you know, it's going to have benefit for you. Like you need to, you need to put it in your diary and you need to imagine that someone's videoing your whole day. So you're kept accountable. Wow. Cause that's what he does. Like he has someone like follow him around, <clears throat> video him and keep him accountable. So imagine that someone is <laughs> got a camera on you and everyone can see what you're doing and just, make sure you stay true to yourself. If you're going to like make time for that sort of thing, stick to it and you'll be amazed by the benefits that you can get from it. Yeah. yeah and it's true. true. Like when one of us learns something new or we read a new book or last night hearing when I heard from Gary, like our energy is just amazing. Oh my God. Yeah. 
And like, like you, taking on too many tasks, tasks. we're like, oh my gosh, like we can do it this way or that. And it's a like the outcomes can be so much better. Yes, that's the thing. But <clears throat> always our products that we produce, our e learning, whether it's instructional mm. design or e learning development, they're to a high standard. We've won awards for yeah. it because we are energized. We're more passionate. We're thinking differently about the yeah. problem that we're trying to solve. I just think that's really Definitely. worth it because yeah it's so energizing it's really cool like and a lot of people in l d are in it because you know they are passionate about helping other people and they do want to help yeah. enable them to improve and all that kind of stuff so we're very intrinsically motivated but i think sometimes our environment can take us down so that's why looking for connections whether it's through linkedin where you can share links with someone like a buddy or going yeah. to events around you that you can like yeah. win in on i think that's where you can get that energy of when you've had it in the past and you can get it. Yeah, again. definitely. Yeah. Good tips. I feel like on that note where you were like picture that you are being videoed, I want the listeners right now or the watchers <laughs> to be like the spotlights on you. Now someone is actually yeah. the phone in your face and they're like, what are you going to do next? And on that, yeah. note, we're going to leave you guys and up to you what you do next. But, and would take action and start putting something in the calendar right now as that first step. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> well, Love thank you stuff. everyone for listening. Really appreciate um, the engagement that we had on the first podcast. It was absolutely yeah. amazing. So much support. So shout out to everyone that was very um, supportive of us. That really means a lot to us. And that's yeah. why we're back for episode two. Um, and yes, thank you. Have an awesome day. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>